Good day here, folks. Papa Hank here at Natural Grandma. And Natural Grandma is going after her cows that are across that little gully there. And we've got Rona standing there waiting. And the rest of them are looking at us because they're really full. They're over there in that wheat and radishes and it frosted here last night. But what beautiful colors we're starting to get here in Missouri. They're just starting to change. It's not really good yet. But, but anyways, those cows are over there just waiting. They know natural grandma's voice. Hear her down there calling and they're responding. I don't know if you can hear them or not, but we're gonna bring them across over here and up and they're gonna go right by where this Kubota is setting. And they're going out in the bean field and they've grazed that waterway already, but uh, we just give them a whole oh, new, probably about 30, 40 acres over there of bean stubble with waterways in it, green waterways. And we just needed some place for them to be there uh, for about 24 hours. And as you can see, they know natural grandma's voice. And they are coming. And we got babies and we got spring calves. And it's a little bit of a tight gate. We don't really like bringing them through 12 foot gates, but they're pretty well trained. You see, they just follow the piper. So here they come. And we've got a little wing set up here to control them so they follow her. And they're going to go right on with natural grandma like she is the piped piper and they'll just continue to come natural grandma can just get up there and sit down her in the Kubota and they're all moving across there's about there's about 60 head in this mob so we're not a a big 300 group mob like some of our neighbors but we got some beautiful red Angus cows that are moderate sized enough to do very good on forage. That's a first calf heifer there, a little two year old. Now she is a South Pole and she's got a new baby at two years old. She just had about two weeks ago. And so she is built right to do it on forage. There's some of those spring calves in there. Their mamas are starting to get a little bit thin. And then the last ones across will probably be those little fall calves. They always are not real sure about where they're going. I see them coming though. They're trying to gather them up. And we may have to leave this open for a little bit. Maybe a cow go back after a calf when you got babies you just can't never put yourself on a timetable you have to be willing to work with their timetable and let them come when they want to they're kind of all gathering down there right now the first ones have all went on so they're feeling kind of left out there come some of them small ones there's calves oh there's calves in there he's He's just about two weeks old. 189 there. Maybe not even two weeks old. <laughs> uh, they cross the ditch, they always think they gotta romp and butt and play a little bit. So. Not a very big gully, but enough to slow them up a little coming. They always run up the hill for some reason or another. Oh, some of them little Triton babies. Or just dynamite. Oh, here comes the gang. Here comes the rest of the little ones. Got one mama down there saying, It's all right, come on down this dirt bank, down in this shade. There's nothing scary here. Let me show you how. Get you on up here. There they come. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they all feel good. 
come out here in this sunshine. So now they're heading up across there. Everybody is doing really good. She says, oh. Well, good day from Papa Hank and Natural Grandma. As you can see around this farm, Grandma does the work. Papa runs the camera. <laughs> Just the way God intended it, right? Uh, some might not agree with that. But Grandma loves her cattle. So she loves giving them new feed every day. Natural Grandma, like us, share us. Tell us what you think about our Red Angus babies. Good day.